They are the corpse, the tombstone, the lingering forest wound all in one. And in parts of Massachusetts, a shocking number of trees are dead or dying. It is a very large number. Um, we're, we're very concerned about it. Years of drought, spring after spring of crippling caterpillar defoliation, have left forests and yards and roadsides with the bony remnants of shade. These trees were all alive. Ken Gooch is the state's forest health program director. He showed us trees alive in June, but dead now. Trees get weakened by multiple years of defoliation. You are going to see some tree mortality. It's not really at the level that we're seeing right now. It's not expect. It wasn't expected. We didn't expect to see this many dead trees. If there's a bright side, the mass die off has been somewhat discreet with not all parts of the state affected. And it's been somewhat discriminatory with oak trees taking the biggest hit. Many things are lost when trees die, including shade, oxygen production, and beauty. But in the case of the large oaks that have died this year, something else has been lost, history. By one metric, an oak just 12 inches in diameter averages about 75 years old. Translation, they can't be replaced overnight. That's a clear sign that that tree is not going to make it. Leo Simpkins is a certified arborist in Holliston, taking lots of homeowner calls these days about dead trees. Over time, he says, they can become killer trees. A freshly dead tree might take a storm to take it down, whereas a, you know, as if it's been standing dead for a couple of years, now it could just start falling apart on you. And so these are all live, healthy egg masses here. It's not over. Already, gypsy moths have prepared for an invasion next spring, and that could mean more trees next year, not reaching for the sky in glory, but in surrender. In Milton, Jim Morelli, Boston 25 News.